Yo, what is going on, guys? Welcome back to my channel. It is Heart Heart DFS. Today we have another NBA slate breakdown on DraftKings for the showdown slate. If you're new to the channel, please hit the like button. Please subscribe. Turn on the notification bell. Do appreciate all the support. Uh, but I also make daily NBA slate breakdowns on DraftKings as well. So we're going to take a deep dive into the showdown slate for today. If you're new to the channel, also make sure to follow me on Twitter at HeartDFS. I'm doing a giveaway for my prize pick plays today. Uh, I was doing one tomorrow. Unfortunately, a couple of people got ruled out, but we still were able to go three of three. Even with that, but I'm moving the giveaway to today. So make sure to follow me on Twitter. All you have to do is retweet and, tw retweet and like and follow me on Twitter. And then that will give you the chance to win uh, 30 bucks for the giveaway today. So definitely follow me on Twitter, HeartDFS. Now let's get into my lineup from yesterday. I told you guys, you know, I'm going to go the route of going those, I guess, less optimal guys. You know, Tyler Hero, uh, Al Horford, maybe Marcus Smart. And, you know, it was working out. It was looking great for the first half. You know, Tyler Hero came out strong. Uh, Pritchard was great. Everyone was pretty much great besides Bam. And I was, you know, I was in the top, like, 200. And then, obviously, Jimmy... Had a fantastic game. I had him in my lineup originally over Tatum. And then I had Horford over Rob Williams. But then we got the news that Horford was out. Smart was out. So I ended up going to Rob Williams and then Tatum. And then Jimmy just had a, a fantastic game. So I was kind of planning on, you know, Jimmy maybe having a, a little worse of a game. And guys like Hero and Bam stepping up. Unfortunately, that didn't happen. Jimmy kind of took over. And I kind of fell out of cash by a little bit. But... You know, still had a, a decent lineup. Um, it's kind of one of those things, and um, let's see if I can find it for you guys so we can look at it real fast. Sorry if this is going by really fast, but I just want to find the tweet for you guys right here. So this is in terms of last night's showdown slate between the Celtics and Heat. You know, there's a 399-way tie for first. Um, obviously, as you can see, most of the field used basically the whole salary, and it was a 400-way tie for first. So that's kind of my point of you want to start using these, you know, less-owned captains, you, the guys who are maybe not 100% optimal. Like guys like Hero and Bam and Horford are guys that can – Definitely go out there and throw up a 40, 50, you know, maybe even 60 fantasy point game. Obviously, there's a less chance of that happening versus guys like Tatum, uh, Brown, uh, Jimmy. But that's kind of what you need if you want to solo take down one of these big showdown slate tournaments. You know, there's not a lot of options to go around. Um, everyone's pretty much going to have the same lineup. So it comes down to you leaving money off the table and putting in these the second tier guys. And if they hit, you know, you're going to make a ton of money. You're going to have a way, way, way better chance of taking down solo first and not splitting it with, you know, 398 other people. And so that's kind of my point of these, these showdown slate videos is just to tell you guys, you know, take that chance. Obviously, some of the times it's not going to work out, you know, like last night for me. But if Tyler Hero kept, you know, having a solid game and then Jimmy just, you know, kept kind of doing nothing, you know, I would have won a good amount of money. So it's just one of those things. You had to take that chance. If you're playing two lineups, I'd say take that chance. If you're playing one, maybe go the optimal route, putting a guy like, you know, Tatum or Jimmy in the captain and then trying to get a little bit different with two utility spots because otherwise you're going to split with 400 people. You're going to, you know, win a minimal amount of money, nothing huge at all, and then you're just going to be frustrated because you're like, wow, I wish I won with, you know, maybe 10 other people at most, not 400. So that's kind of my uh, breakdown of it. So taking that into mind for today's slate, um, let's look at utility. We got Luke at the top. Obviously, he's the most expensive. He's the guy who's done everything. You're going to have to fit Luca into the lineup. I really don't see a route today where Luca's not in the lineup in some sort of case, You know, whether it's a utility spot or the captain. He's just the guy who runs the whole whole offense for the Dallas side. So... Really think you're going to need him in at least the utility spot today. I think that's the route to go. Put him in the utility spot and then try to get different in captain. Otherwise, you're going to be splitting with a ton of people because most people are going to put Luca and Steph in the captain spot. And that's the most optimal way to go. But once again, you don't want to split with 400 other people. So definitely try to get different. But obviously, you're going to want at least, I'd say most likely both of them in your, your starting lineup. 
you can kind of get away with Steph, even though, you know, he's had some great games. Let's say he goes out and puts up like a 44 fantasy point game. Uh, you could definitely get lucky, or not lucky, but you could definitely go, you know, kind of hop off that and go like guys like Poole, uh, Draymond, uh, you know, Clay, Brunson, all those guys. So I do like Poole today as my captain. Um, as we can see, back to back, actually like three bad games in a row. Last game being 4-15 from the field, only 24 minutes. He's most likely going to see 30 plus minutes. Uh, as we can see, he can really fill up the stat sheet. 31 points, 9 and 8, 25 and 3, 27, 4 and 2. So this is a guy, if he gets hot, you know, he can really break down the slate and take it down. So I really like Jordan Poole as a captain today off those chalky guys like Steph and, and, uh, and Luca. Um, so let's just throw him in there for right now. And then obviously if you do both of them, you know, 4,500 is not a ton. So you're going to have to play some of these cheaper guys, which obviously doesn't leave you a lot. So you know, maybe you could fade a guy like Steph, as I just mentioned. It frees up a ton more uh, for you to use, 6,100, almost 2,000 more per person. Because otherwise you're going to be stuck playing guys like Powell. And if they don't come out and have like a 15, closer to 20 fantasy point game, you're not going to cash. Uh, but yeah, I'd say the, the route today is at least play Luka. And then one of the top guys on the Golden State side, and then try to just fit in as many um, mid range guys as you can. Clay, always going to be under own because he's priced up pretty high, but he's a guy that can go out there and have a fantastic game. He did last game. Um, he's starting to play really well in these playoffs. You know, a few inconsistent games, but he's been really stepping it up uh, peripheral stat wise. So I like Clay a good amount. Obviously, not going to be high owned at all, just because people would rather get to the other guys. Uh, Brunson, like Brunson in the spot, price is up there. He can be a little score independent at times, but he stepped up. Uh, Draymond had a huge game last game. You know, this is a little bit better of a spot against the Dallas guys, I feel like, so I don't mind getting to Draymond. Wiggins, you know, had a great game last game. Like him in the mid-range, you know, I do think they're going to try to take advantage of Wiggins uh, in the series, just because I'm not really sure who would be able to guard him. As they're probably going to throw a block on Steph. They're going to throw probably DFS on Clay, And then maybe they'll have Luke on Wiggins. I'm not really sure. But if that happens, obviously, really want to go to Wiggins. DFS, uh, I don't know if I'd get to Dinwiddie. You know, he had a fantastic game last game. I was on him the whole series. And, of course, one time I didn't really talk about him. He goes off 25 minutes. But he looks okay. Uh, I don't I don't know if I can get there. He kind of was hitting every shot last game. I'd rather just get to guys like, uh, you know, Bullock. A little bit safer. Obviously, he can have some very bad games if he's not too involved offensively like last game. Same with DFS. They're kind of just out there, you know, most likely playing defense, maybe hitting some shots. Uh, Cleaver, not back to bad, bad, bad games. Otto Porter Jr. is in. This should be a good series for him, uh, you know, Mavs aren't too big at all. They're kind of the same when it comes to just, you know, a bunch of guys, you know, some centers that kind of just run around, do everything. Uh, the power forwards like Kleber, they're better shooters than they are defenders. That's kind of what uh, Otto Porter Jr. is. So I don't mind getting to him. Uh, Looney looks okay. I'm sure he'll be very popular today, just at the cheap price. He should see, you know, 15 plus minutes in the spot, but obviously that doesn't guarantee him to do well at all. You know, he can go out there and get you 12 fancy points. Um, so I don't mind getting to, you know, Kevon Looney. I do think uh, Kaminga will probably, this is a dart throw, but I do think he'll probably play maybe 15 minutes in this matchup. You know, the Mavs aren't big. Kaminga, could, they could really take advantage of his athleticism versus guys like Kleber and Powell. So I don't, I think there's a shot of Kaminga doing well today if you want to take a dart throw on that. Don't think I'd get to Powell. Just not, not, not it for me. Maybe he does a little bit better this series, uh, but yeah. Don't think I'd get there. Um, but yeah, kind of just more, just kind of talking through some guys at the beginning, kind of just going over how you want to attack this slate. Really think you obviously need Luka in your lineup today. And then I'd suggest getting different at the captain spot. Jordan Poole now will probably be pretty popular as a captain just because of his, you know, high range of, you know, he could have a really high ceiling game working really, really low floor. So do expect people to go to pool in the captain spot a decent amount today. But I, I don't mind that. I you know I like him there. Um, I mean, you can throw a guy like Dinwiddie. So if you need to free up some space, throw in Kaminga. And then you could definitely fit in a guy like Steph still. And then 
3,600 left over. You throw in a guy like Powell, but it's one of those things. Doing that, what if you get 14 fancy points? And then what if Kaminga fails? Then you're kind of screwed. You really need Jordan Poole to have a great game. Um, so I'd say, you know, kind of stick to that mid-range route and try to build around there. Maybe a guy like, uh, let's say like Brunson. 4,200 left over. You can throw in Kaminga. And then you have 6,200 left over. That leaves you, you know, a good amount to get to a safer guy. Like Bullock. Um, maybe Otto Porter Jr. But definitely Bullock where you could, you know, be, feel safe. The fact that, you know, you have one guy that maybe could bust. But everyone else pretty much has a safe floor. And they can have a, a pretty good ceiling too. So that's kind of the route you want to go today. I'd say for now, my... Um, my core is pretty much just Poole and Luca. I'm going to have to figure out kind of the ownerships for today and kind of build off of that. So stay tuned on my Twitter for more of a core play for today. But, yep, that's kind of me just diving into the showdown slates, kind of how you want to attack it, kind of the route I'm going. And I hope you guys, you know, find some uh, enjoyment from this, some satisfa satisfaction, maybe some uh, important tips or just, you know, me talking about someone, maybe put you on them or off of them. But hope you guys got something from this. If you did, you know, leave a like, subscribe. Do appreciate all the support. And I will have a NBA Price Pick video coming out in a little bit. But definitely make sure to follow me on Twitter, HeartDFS, doing a giveaway today for Price Picks. So thank you guys, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.